Hello children, welcome to the virtual class. My name is Shraddha Deecha and today we will be doing a lesson in standard 4th English through the virtual training center of the Brihan Mumbai Mahanagar Padika. This is a lesson children under the work from home sessions. Okay, now today's lesson is going to be a very interesting poem based on time and your time table. Okay, so let's see what the lesson is. So the name of the lesson is Time for Everything. Okay, now this is about the timetable that you follow during the day. Now you have a timetable when you go to school, isn't it? As soon as you reach your school, you have your morning assembly and then you have the time when you go to your classes and then your teacher starts teaching you and there is a time when you go outside to play then during the craft period you do some craft work during the drawing period you do some drawing work isn't it so that means there is a time which is fixed for everything that you so let's read the poem and try to understand what the poem wants to tell us. So what is the name of the poem again? It is Time for Everything. So let's read the poem fast first and then we will I will explain each line to you using beautiful pictures and images. So what is the name of the poem children? It is time for everything. There's a time to run and a time to walk. There's a time for silence, a time for talk. There's a time for work and a time for play. There's a time for sleep at the close of the day. There's a time for everything you do, for children and for grown-ups too. A time to stand up and a time to sit but see that the time and actions fit all right so we read the poem quickly now let us try and see each line of the poem so it is better that you will understand the meaning more easily so look at the first line here from the poem it is there's a time to run and a time walk all right so sometimes when you are in a very uh, crowded place what do you do you walk slowly and try to reach your uh, destination or wherever you want to reach but suppose you are playing a game with your friends then what will you do there you will run and you will not walk isn't it? Suppose you are playing cricket and you are doing fielding and you have to go and get the ball. What will you do? You will run. Isn't it? But when you are going to the playground to play from your classroom, what will you do? You will not go running. You will go walking. Isn't it children? So there is a time to run and a time to walk. So when you are supposed to run, that time you should run and when you are supposed to walk, that time you should walk and you should not mix up both of them. Okay? When you are in a queue, when you are in a queue, what do you do that time? You should walk slowly. You should not try to run and push the others. You should not try to run and push the others. Okay? So there is a time to run and a time to walk. After that you will see there is a time for silence and a time to talk. So sometimes you have to keep quiet. You have to be silent. You cannot make noise. In the class when you are sitting and your teacher is teaching you, what do you have to do? You have to be silent. Okay? You should not make noise and disturb the entire class. Okay? 
So there's a time for silence and a time to talk. Now when you are sitting with your friend and your friend is asking you something, what will you do that time? You will talk. So sometimes you have to be quiet and sometimes you have to talk. See how they are talking so nicely. They are very happy. Na? So they are talking to each other. So there is a time for silence and a time to talk. Now children if you go to meet someone in the hospital. Have you seen how an hospital is? A hospital is very very uh, quiet. There you are not supposed to run. You are not supposed to make noise. So when you go to a hospital you should be silent. But when you go to a party when you go to your friend's birthday party, that time you should talk to everyone. Okay? So there is a time for silence and a time to talk. Look at the next one. There is a time for work and a time for play. So sometimes you have to work. See this child? He is doing his homework. Na? So the child is working. And sometimes you get time to play. When you get time to play, you are supposed to play. But when you have work, when your teacher has given you homework, when you have an exam the next day, you are supposed to work. So there is a time for work and a time for play. See here? When you grow up also, you will have to do work. Isn't it? So when there is a time for work, you have to work. And when there is a time to play, you can play. Alright? So there is a time for work and a time for play. So when you are supposed to work, you should not play. And when you are supposed to play, you should avoid doing work. Next, let's see the next line. There is a time for sleep at the close of a day. So, at the close of day, when it is night time, what do you do? You go to sleep. See, there you have Tom going to sleep and here you have a girl like you going to sleep at the close of day. Close of day means what? Close of day means night time. So, there is a time for sleep at the close of day. At around 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock, what should you do? You should go to sleep and take rest during the night. So there is a time for sleep at the close of day. Let's see what is there in this now. There is a time for everything you do. So whatever work you do, there is a proper time for that. For example, there is a time to read in the night at 2 o'clock if you get up. Should you read? No. Because that is a time to sleep. So there is a time to read. There is a time to eat. Isn't it? There is a particular time when you should eat. When you get up in the morning, you should eat breakfast. In the afternoon, you should eat lunch. And in the night you should eat dinner. So there is a time for eating also. You cannot eat the whole day. Alright. And there is a time for having bath also. When you get up in the morning, what do you do first? You go to the toilet, you brush your teeth and then you have your bath. Isn't it? So the poem tells you that there is a time for everything you not only reading, not only eating, not only having baths, but everything else. To play there is time, to study there is time, to go to school there is time. So for everything that you do, you should have a proper timetable. That is what the poem is trying to tell you. Okay, we should always work according to the timetable and we should be disciplined also. Okay, so that is what this message given by the poem here. So see, 
for children and for grown-ups. Now, is the timetable only for children? No, it is not. It is for children as well as for grown-ups. So, children means like you people, all those who are going to school, all those who are going to college, all of you are children. And who are grown-ups? Your mummy, your papa, your nana, nani, dada, dadi, mama, mommy. Okay, all these people, they are all grown-ups. Bade log. Okay, so this kind of timetable or the doing the right thing at the right time is not only for children but it is also for grown-ups. For children and for grown-ups to a time to stand up and a time to sit. So, time to stand up and time to sit means you should know what time you should do what thing. Time to stand up, time to sit. Alright, so what is this entire poem about? It is about this message at the end of the poem. But see that the time and actions fit. That means, see that whatever you are doing, you are doing at the right time. You should not get up in the middle of the night and eat. Okay? Or you should not do wrong things at the wrong time. You should play when you are supposed to play and you should study when you are supposed to study. So, the time and your action should always fit. If your school is at 7.30, what time should you go to school? At 7.30 only. You should not go very late or very early. So, whatever action that you are doing should always be on time. Okay? So, that is the meaning of this poem for you. Now, we will look at some question answers. You will understand how to answer the questions also. So, answer the following questions. Now, children, now this is not a place where I can ask you a question and wait for you to give me the answer. So, what you should do now? You should look at the question. You should pause the video. Try to search for the answer and then play the video again and see whether your answer is right. Alright, so let's see the first question. When is it the time for sleep? So what time should you sleep children? When do you think you should sleep? Think about this and try to give me the answer. Yes, night time is the time for sleep. When should you sleep? During the night. During the day you can take a nap. Okay, that is you can just close your eyes and lie down for 10 or 15 minutes mostly at the most for half an hour but sleeping you should do during the night isn't it look at the next question what is meant by there's a time for everything you do what is the meaning of the sentence there's a time for everything you do the meaning of the sentence is we should do the right thing at the right time Sahi time pe sahi cheez karni chahiye. Okay. Now, there is this uh, box where we should see who should do everything at a proper time. So, the names of many people are given here. For example, children, grown-ups or both. So, who should do everything at a proper time? What do you think? I think that children should also do everything at a proper time. Grown-ups should also do everything at the proper time. So, in a way, both should do everything at the proper time. Isn't it? Children also and grown-ups also. So, everyone, whether you are a child or whether you are a grown-up, you should do the proper things at the proper time. Now, there is one more very interesting exercise which we will do at the last after answering this question. So, one line in this poem contains a short message. What is that message? So, what is the message? 
but see that the time and actions fit. So this is the line which contains a message that whatever you are doing should be according to the time. Time and action should fit. That is the message of the poem. Alright, let us see some images now. So see, when it is the time to wake up, you should wake up. What time will you wake up? In the morning, isn't it? When it is a time to have lunch, you should have lunch. You should not say, Nay, I'm not hungry now, I will eat later. You should never spoil your timetable. So when is the time to eat lunch, you should have lunch. And the next is, when it is time to sleep, that is during night time, you should go and sleep. So this is the message that the poem contains. Alright? And the last exercise, like I told you, we will do a very interesting exercise in which we will try to match some things. So, let's try to match the following here. So, these are certain timings and these are certain actions. Okay? So, time to talk, time to run, time to be silent and time to walk. And in the next column you have, when you have to catch your opponents, when you are on a crowded street, when someone has asked you a question, when you are in a library or a hospital. Opponent means when you are playing with someone, the person you are playing with is your opponent. Okay? When you are playing a game or when you are playing a match. So, what is the time to talk? The time to talk is when somebody has asked you a question. So, when somebody is asking you a question, that time you have to talk. You cannot say, no, I will be silent. No. Okay? That time it will be wrong action. When will you run when you have to catch your opponents? Isn't it? That time if you walk, what will happen? You will lose the game. When will you be silent? When you are in a library or when you are in a hospital. And when will you walk? When you are in a crowded street. In a crowded street, if you try to run, what will happen? You will go and dash against people and cause injury. Isn't it? So children... This was the poem, Time for Everything. We looked at the poem, we read it, we saw a lot of beautiful images and we also did some interesting question-answer sessions based on this poem. So that was all for today children. Let's meet again next time through the virtual training center of the Brihan Mumbai Mahanagar Palika to do another lesson in English. Till then, this is Shraddha teacher saying goodbye to you.